Hello, my name is Scott Anger, and welcome to our second tutorial on setting up Node with Vagrant, VirtualBox, and yeah. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a uh, Git Bash. If you go to your programs, go to all programs, and go to Git, and you open a Git Bash, it'll open a command prompt like this. And I'm going to change to a different directory. You can just leave in your current directory. I'm going to switch to e slash v or vagrant. Alright. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to go to the bottom of vagrantup.com and we're going to go and we're going to want to copy this line here and put it in our terminal. And essentially we're going to copy and paste that in here. I'm not going to do it because I already have it have one set up. But I'll just do another one with you guys or I'll show you how to do it and how mine is named. Okay, apparently I can't. Vagrant, and then you do box, add, and then the name that you want it to be called. Uh, mine is named Precise32, because that's w uh, the version of Ubuntu that the server is. And then you put the, the URL of the box here as you can see. And once that's done, you should be able to just do that, be doing that. And then all you have to do is vagrant in it, and then precise 32, or whatever you named your, uh, actually, hold up, make I'm going to create a new directory for this and tutor name it node tutorial cd no no tutorial here um, and now we're going to do vagrant in it and then you put the name of your uh the name of your the box that you downloaded so whatever you set your name as mine's precise 32 and hit enter and it'll do a couple of things for us so that's essentially the first thing that we need to do and now I'm going to open up Sublime, uh, Sublime. that's the type code editor I'll be using throughout the, these tutorials. I'm going to go to my computer, go to my local, in my E drive, go to Vagrant, go to No Tutorial, and drag and drop that in. And I'm going to open my Vagrant file, and uh, I c it doesn't have the right syntax. Um, I need to set the syntax to hmm. find edit. I'm just gonna go down here. And the syntax is Ruby. So R Ruby, there we go. And obviously now we can see this. And there are a couple of settings we want to enable. I can duplicate this one. And essentially what you... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one, sorry. You... We want to do... The Vagrant Synced folder. I can come out and comment that one. And... We're also going to grab uh, 
Uh, Colin Guess. A guest. Okay. Copy. Paste that. And uncomment it. So we're going to want to set up a synced folder for us. I'm gonna, it's going to be up one folder in the no, node folder. And we're going to just create a node tutorial folder. And er, and then we're going to put n no tutorial folder. So under the config dot box equals and then the name of your uh, vagrant box, you put. We're going to do a config dot vm dot shared folder, and it accepts or er, it, it does two different values. The first one is the value of the folder on Windows. And then the other one is the value of the folder you want it to be on the vagrant box. And then the next one we're going to do is config.vm.network colon or space colon forwarded por underscore port comma and then the guess we're going to have that be port 3000 and the host we're going to have it at 8080. So if you guys can see that, just copy that down. I'll give you a second to do that. And pause the video if you're not done with it. So essentially we're just going to save this file. And we're going to go over to our uh, command prompt. And we're going to go vagrant. Uh, and that essentially start up the virtual machine. Oh, hold up. My mistake, my mistake. I forgot to create a node folder here. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, if you did that, then in the folder above where you are with the the node tutorial, put a node folder and and now we run Vagrant up again, and it's it'll set up the machine. In the meantime, I will pause this, and we're back. Um, there's my note. Essentially, we just created a VirtualBox machine, and if you open up VirtualBox, it it'll be running in the background, even though you can't see it. So I'm going to minimize, or I'm actually going to close the virtual box pop-up window, or control window. And now all we have to do to get into the machine is type uh, vagrant SSH. And it will automatically put us inside of the machine. And we have access to the entire machine. So if we go to slash node tutorial, cd slash node tutorial ls, you'll see nothing there. But let's bring that folder over here into Sublime, the node folder that we sh set up as the shared folder. And if we save uh, app.js here and save it, and we list it over on the virtual machine, it automatically is synced between the two machines. So, thank you. For, uh, I think that's all I'm going to go over for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or Leave a comment behind. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorials. I'm going to leave off here and I'm going to show you how to do a couple more things before we actually get the node server set up and ready to go. In the meantime, I'm going to delete this folder, or file, and just to show you that it is actually synced, it is, it's actually not in the folder anymore. Uh, to exit, you type exit and then you want to shut it down so you want to do vagrant halt 
and that'll shut down the VirtualBox machine. And I'm just gonna wait till that's done, and then we'll be heading out. Okay, that's done. I'm just gonna exit out of here, close my Sublime, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorials. Please, again, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment behind. Bye-bye.